This episode of Texilla is brought to you by Domain.com. PCMag.com just wrapped up their annual nationwide test of mobile networks, benchmarking 3G and 4G in 30 different cities. Check this out, people. PC Mag's Fastest Mobile Networks 2012 is up and on the website. Wondering what carrier is the fastest in your area? Our favorite mobile analyst, PC Magazine's Sasha Sagan joins us via Skype. Welcome back, Sasha. Thanks for having me. Is, is it still okay to call it PC Magazine, or should I, should I stick to PC Mag? It's like 20 years of reading. It's, it's hard to give up the a zine part after PC Mag. <laughs> Well, we're technically PCMag.com. That's the official name of our site. But, you know, I still have some old business cards that say PC Magazine on that I still hand out, so I'm guilty of it, too. Good to know I'm in good company. So, 30 U.S. cities. How many tests did, you, did your, your team actually run in the course of, of determining the fastest mobile network? Well, it was about 60,000 rounds of testing oh over goodness. 21 days. So that's a total of, there were four tests in each round, so it's about a total of 240,000 lines of data there. That's a lot of data points. Who, which networks are, it was basically all national services that you tested, correct? Yeah, we tested uh, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Metro PCS, so the top five carriers in the U.S. What was the methodology? How exactly do you test all of these networks in all these locations? Well, we use some custom speed test software mm -hmm. designed by a French company called Sensorly, which does some business for European carriers. So they designed the speed test software for us. It tests uh, uploads and downloads, and then uh, generates some streams, UDP streams that are simulated uh, voice stream and a simulated video stream. Um, and then it's also testing reliability in terms of failed connections. And we drove around the country in uh, three cars for three weeks, four <laughs> Ford lent us some awesome cars, um, and uh, we went to these 30 cities, stopped in each city in 10 locations for at least 15 minutes each, mm -hmm. and uh, drove around the cities and around the country for the rest of the time, leaving the software running, so we were getting test results from everywhere. Oh, wow. So when you stopped in a city, did you stop in each city at like 4 o'clock every day, or did you try it at different times during the day? Well, the rule was generally that we were trying to make 10 stops that were at least a mile apart from each other uh, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. on the day we were in the city. So we're, tr we're testing in populated areas uh, scattered throughout the city during business hours. So I got to ask, who was the fastest? Who has the fastest mobile network in the U.S.? Well, this is a really interesting question <laughs> because... If you look at, if you include coverage as a factor and you say, who has the fastest network that you can probably get? The <laughs> answer is, the answer is Verizon 4G LTE. And they won our national award and they won all of our regional awards and Verizon won 19 of our 30 cities. But AT&T LTE won another 10 cities. And AT&T's uh, major problem was not speed. AT&T's problem was just that they don't have LTE turned on in very many places. So AT&T's network was really fast. It's just hard to find. But in places like uh, New York and San Francisco, AT&T won. So it's interesting. AT&T, did they have the sort of consistency issues with their speed that they've had in the past? It seems like AT&T has been the fastest in many cases, but you know, their fastest was all over the map depending on when and where you were testing. AT&T does have some issues involving, in some cities, they have more spectrum than others. Mm -hmm. So we found, uh, we found in four cities where they had less spectrum, their speeds were noticeably slower. So yeah, Verizon's network was more consistent across mm -hmm. the board. Uh, any surprises on the network testing? Yeah, the big surprise for me was T-Mobile. Really? Um, yeah, I hadn't expected T-Mobile to be terribly fast, but it turns out that their HSPA 42, which is what they're calling 4G, is really fast, at least on downloads. Its download speeds beat Verizon's LTE in uh, 10 or 11 cities. So I'm, I'm curious, all this testing was around mobile data, mobile network performance. Did you do any voice quality testing is, at this point? Is there anything you can say about voice quality across the different networks? We don't test voice calls in this round. Uh, for voice calling, we use our big reader survey called mm -hmm. Reader's Choice each year. And uh, that came out a couple of months ago. We survey thousands of people around the country about what they think about their wireless service. And their uh, Verizon and US Cellular came out on top. Hmm, good to know. So I got to ask, is it time for folks to start thinking, I need 4G for my next phone? Is, is 3G pretty much over? Or does it only really matter if you're a heavy data user? 
It really matters if you're a heavy data user. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes a big, big difference if you're downloading a lot of data. If you're the kind of person who likes to download a lot of apps, if you're the kind of person who likes to browse the web often, then it is going to significantly improve your experience. Mm -hmm. But if you're just the kind of person who, you know, texts and occasionally checks mobile-oriented websites, then it's not as big a deal, especially if you're with, uh, say, if you're on AT&T or T-Mobile 3G phone, which are a little faster than Verizon's and Sprint's 3G phones. Good to know. So I got to ask, your team at PC Mag, you guys see all, literally, you probably see almost every phone, or at least more phones than anybody else I know is testing phones. What's your favorite phone right now? Is there anyone you're coveting that you're not carrying? Well, the one I, I'll tell you about the one I am carrying, because uh, my favorite phone at the moment, which is the one I'm carrying, is the HTC One S for T-Mobile. Um, I just think it's really elegant, beautiful build quality, great design, perfect size in my hand. Um, I, think, I think HTC's skin over Android 4.0 is elegant without being too heavy. Mm -hmm. It runs Android 4.0, the latest version. I really like this phone. However, <laughs> I just gave the Samsung Galaxy S3 a whole bunch of editor's choice awards and that phone is uh, overall in the industry the phone to beat right now i can't believe it i was you know I, I had one in my hands for for a few days and i was amazed first of all at how big a four and a half inch screen looks or 4.59 inch screen looks and second of all how thin that phone is it feels did it feel cheap or just light to you i'm curious the galaxy s3 the problem with the Galaxy S3 and where you'll get a lot of uh, dissension mm -hmm. is the fact that Samsung used these really lightweight plastics as the body. And that feels a little cheap to me, but it's very much a, a matter of opinion. Mm -hmm. I like HTC's uh, kind of brushed metal better. Uh, but yeah, the, the flip side is you get a really light phone for a phone that's so big. So I, I completely off our topic here, Microsoft Surface. You excited to see those coming out or, or is it just too far in the future to make any judgment? I'm, I'm definitely excited about Microsoft Surface. I'm also excited about Windows Phone 8, but there's so many unanswered questions. For instance, if the Microsoft Surface tablets are really $900, they're not going to sell any of them. If the Microsoft Surface tablets are $500, it's going to make a huge splash. Uh, Windows Phone 8, what's the hardware like? Microsoft released all of these really interesting details about really <laughs> interesting stuff, but not the final links in the chains. It's funny, they, it's like they gave us all the sauce, but they didn't tell us whether it's going to be on chicken, beef, or, you know, elk. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great metaphor, absolutely. So what's coming up on PCMag.com? What can we send people to take a look at? Well, of course, we've got, uh, we've got more Galaxy S3 reviews. We're reviewing all five models of the Galaxy S3, uh, every carrier different. Uh, we just reviewed Asus' new uh, tablet, which competes with the iPad. It has a little lower than a Retina display. It has a 1920 by uh, 1200 display. And, of course, we have our coverage of uh, Google I.O. coming up uh, later this week on Wednesday. You're going to see a lot of coverage and opinions from us about Android Jelly Bean and everything else uh, Google announces this week. Sasha, awesome information as always. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to Texilla. Thanks for having me here. Ladies and gentlemen, PCMag.com is where you can find more mobile coverage and more of Sasha's writing. I suggest you check it out. PCMag.com is the place. Right now, though, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. You need to pick up some domain names? Just need a new name for a website, for your business, new blog, a handful of redirects to your existing site? You should be registering with Domain.com like we do. We like Domain.com. They're affordable, they're reliable, they're easy to use, and unlike some other domain registrars, Domain.com doesn't support horrible legislation that would cripple the internet and break the online experience that we all know and love. Domain.com, they're for you. Plus, Domain.com, they get it. They've got an active social media presence on Twitter via at Domain.com, and if you just call them up on the phone, Customer support's great, makes it a fun place to do business. Seriously, if you need to do a domain name, think domain.com and also think.com. Not one of those weird new three letter ones that always seem to be associated with scam sites. A .com domain name is the original, and we all know it's the best. It's globally understood, it gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. Plus, if you want to invest in and sell domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. 
Did we tell you that we like Domain.com? Well, they like us too, and they love our fans. That's why we've got an awesome coupon code for you. A big 20% discount off Domain.com's already low prices. Now, normally Domain.com has 15% discounts, but since they're back up on Techzilla, they're pumping up our coupon to 20% off. Do us a favor, use the coupon code Techzilla when you check out at Domain.com. It's a limited time offer, but it's 20% off, folks. Thinking about getting a domain? Go to Domain.com right now. Get some big time savings by giving the Techzilla coupon code some love when you check out. When you think of domain names, think domain.com, and that is a .com.